this is a tiger snake. It's one of Australia's deadliest snakes. And it's best to stay well back when he's doing this. And, and how, what's happened to him? Uh, so this guy's just come in in poor body condition. He's a bit, a bit emaciated. So I'm um, there getting the vets to check out today to see if there's an underlying problem with him. So it could be because he's stuck in the burnt area with nothing to eat? It, it could be. It, it's probably stemmed a bit further than that, but definitely the fires aren't going to help this fella, so it's best to get him checked out now and hopefully get him on the mend. This is the fella. So when did you find him? Uh, so he's been, he came in a couple of weeks back now. Oh, um, okay. You've had him the whole time? Yeah, yeah. He came in okay. just at sort of the start of the fire thing, but he came okay. in... Um, a bit emaciated and he had three layers of basically skin still attached that should have been shed. As in like three different, three different shed? Yeah, it's like still attached. Okay. So um, he was soaked and they were removed. Okay. But as you can see, he's still, and even down here, like, around the tail area, it feels like scar tissue. I'm not 100%. Yeah. Has he, have you fed him at all? Yes, yes, and he has started eating. Good. Um, oh, his um, spectacles are really dry. So snakes don't have um, oh. eyelids like us, they don't blink, so they have that protective layer over their, over their cornea that is kind of like a permanent, like a permanent transparent eyelid basically. Kath is the ophthalmology vet, Okay. so she's gonna, I just want her to have a look and see whether there is damage further down. So, it, so this is looking like a pretty good prognosis? So he's got, um, the, he's got retained de desiccated spectacles. And um, if he has a normal shed, as long as there's a healthy spectacle underneath, um, it should be okay. So we'll just lubricate in the meantime. And um, but if there's not a healthy spectacle underneath, we just don't want to pull it off because he'll have an exposed cornea, which will be really painful. So it's just a matter of eye drops. Eye ointment we'll go with, and <laughs> the safety of putting an eye ointment into a tiny snake. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. And apparently, yeah. you can't even have a cut on your hand. No, no, that's exactly right. If you can see here, uh, the venom that's already in the tube. If I was to pull him out to basically a technique called heading, if I was to have a small nick or scratch on my hand and the venom was to touch it, uh, it could still cause an envenomation. Uh, so you don't actually have to be bitten, just an open wound, and the venom going over that is enough to cause a severe envenomation. And so you could die. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. So That's powerful. Yes, that's exactly right. So caution's always got to be taken every step of the way we're dealing with these guys. Mm -hmm.